Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara is a big, beautiful Kirk. Oh! We're looking at Rainbow Six Siege, the program trailer, Six Invitational 2020 Ubisoft. This is from Ubisoft North America. I just want to say real quick that I hate the interface with Ubisoft on PCs. Like, I, I, I got a couple games when I, like, every time you buy a graphics card, they're like, here's a new game. It's like, oh, great. I'll spend $800 on a graphics card to get this game. It has its own portal, and it's so annoying. Why can't you just use Steam or whatever else the, uh, there's like one other new competing one now, but like Steam was my go-to thing for all uh -huh. my games. I'm like, why can't they just, that aside, Ubisoft games are generally nice to play. So uh, let's check this out, here we go. Obviously, when assessing any potential future threats, there is that which we know and that which we don't. But it is always wow. that which we don't know we don't know that poses the greatest danger. Imagine the past and the present transmuted together into the best possible future. We will start with the stadium. As the we will accent. take what was old and breathe new life into it. Good accent. The echoes of heroes past will become cheers of champions future. They will come from every part of the globe so that they may face their greatest adversaries, each other, and ultimately, themselves. Wow. we will come together so that we may be stronger apart. Welcome to oh. the program. That's cool. That is cool. Uh-oh. I'm going to be real with y'all. I haven't played any of the Rainbow games. I had a t-shirt from E3 once. It was very big. Didn't fit me very well. Big so you and, never wore it. Big and red. No, I wore it all the time. Because <laughs> that was a time when wearing big shirts was the end thing to do. Right. So I don't know much about Rainbow. I mean, I maybe I played it a little bit, but I've been more of a Call of Duty person. I think the reason why is because every time I looked at Rainbow, I believe it was like you have to play online. And it is, it's only online. Right. Kind of like, um, what's that other one that's set in like Washington, D.C.? Tom Clancy's something. I'm going to go look for it. Nowadays, just the look of everything looks so awesome. You can see all the pores and the, the particle effects. The division. Look so cool. That's what it's called. Ah, uh, the I, division. I bought this. Which you have not opened. No, I opened it and installed it. I haven't played it. Uh, I bought this because it said that you don't need the uh, PS4 online program that is a, has a monthly cost to play it. I was mm -hmm. like, all right, cool. I'll buy that. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be subject to paying some kind of subscription fee to play any of these games. And I think right. that's what the problem was with the Rainbow games. And that's why I never got into it. It but, looks super fun though. No, like, it is. I mean, wanted it to does. play it with your friends if that was your kind of bag it is i just don't would... like i don't like getting my ass kicked <laughs> the thing is i was playing at my nephew's place and he's like he's just younger than me a lot younger than he's still in high school i fancy a good first person shooter and i'm playing and he is kicking my ass like drop kicking me hard I mean, metaphorically speaking uh -huh. because he's like jumping around a lot i'm like i can strafe and i can shoot <laughs> <laughs> He's like jumping constantly. I'm like, you're cheating. He's like, I'm not cheating. That's how you play the game. I'm like, God damn it. I can't like, I was terrible. And so I like a controlled parameter. That's why I like to play Borderlands. It gives me an opportunity to, to actually win. Basically, you don't like to lose. But I mean, who does anyway? It's not just that. It's also the respawning time. I'm like, damn, you get killed in two shots. What was that game that everyone played? You know the game I'm talking about, right? Where it's like you could die in two shots and then you, the respawn time is the worst. Like you're just waiting for like in a queue for a whole minute. Like, God, I want to do something. But let's talk about this game. No, people clicked on this video to hear me bitch about why I don't play these games. <laughs> yeah, bitch about problems with Ubisoft. I think it looks cool. I definitely get that kind of Hunger Games vibe of 
different groups having to battle it out together. Mm. Counter-Strike, that's what I was thinking of. Ah, uh, Counter-Strike, Counter yes, classic yeah. game. The only reason I know that game is because back in the day when I used to go to an internet cafe, everyone was playing Counter-Strike yeah. and the computers next to me, it was so loud. But I'm, I'm terrible, I'm, so I'm, ter I'm personally terrible at those online, I tried to get into it and I get my ass handed to me, I'm like, no, forget it. And people from my YouTube channels keep trying to find me on, on my PS4 account, I'm like, no, no. <laughs> No, I don't. It's very antisocial. I, I don't need you to to to, to beat me up in my, in this game. Like I come on here to unplug from everything else in life, not to have my ass handed to me the way you know the world does. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just like, it's let, like let you me, don't need your games to be a reflection of your daily yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. I wanna I wanna feel victorious somewhere. It's, <laughs> it's 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 like vicariously living through like this heroic moment. Now all that nonsense aside, I'm sure most people have clicked out of the video by now because they're like, oh, he's a fucking noob. It does look really cool and I can see the um, the appeal of this and yeah. like the the you know adventure it's almost like um, paintball or something like that but in a yeah. game you know <laughs> without having to actually feel any physical damage what was really interesting to me about the trailer was like the sound design I thought was really cool it was actually kind of distressing for me to to hear the sound of the punching but it was kind of muted and I thought that was really cool to me it seems more immersive because like that might be what it might sound like mm -hmm. if you were there you know it wouldn't sound so like bam 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 it would be like kind of muted through the clothing or yep. if you were further away or something so I just thought that was a really interesting sound design on their part the cutscene looks good I mean this was all cutscene right yeah, this no, wasn't this wasn't any gameplay no it wasn't I mean yeah. I, as far as I know I didn't see any little message at the yeah. bottom that said oh this is all in-game engine and all that stuff it looks beautiful like I, I was mentioning that in the beginning here's a potentially controversial question okay is that dude Indian or black the one you know what? I thought he was Indian yeah, I thought but it was in Indian. this shot that we're looking at at 22 seconds, it looks like he might be black. But like that doesn't. They don't I don't. I don't care anyway. I think it's super I'm not, cool. I'm that not. I'm not asking like as a means of judging the game. I'm no. just out of sheer curiosity. No, but I think it's cool because it's nice that they they're having minorities. But the cool thing is like everyone in this game seems to be from a different country, right? I felt so proud. I saw my my British flag being repped. Thailand never makes it to the world arena, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Canada so does. At least I have one country mm -hmm. where I'm like, yeah, you can represent. I don't know, know, why not? They should have some Ong Bak fucking dude in there, like, I know, know kicking people I know. and stuff. It's like every now and then we get some cool athletes, but yeah. we're not really well known for too much apart from Thai food and sex tourism. It'd be great <clears throat> if they had a way to have the graphics look Someone like this when they do those instant replays. Like they had some cool slow motion shots of the of the shell spinning out oh, of the yeah, gun. Oh yeah, that's and, super and, cool. And, and uh, you know, sometimes they have in the first person shooters the, the kill shot, right? Where they someone gets killed and then it was, does a little to yeah. help you feel like even better that you fucked this dude up. And so <laughs> it'd be great if they could render out on the fly like a nice CGI-esque thing like that. Like I know with, was it God of War 3? Like they had this special dynamic engine where when you were far away from the character, it didn't render as much. But when you got close, it did more rendering. Uh, to re it rendered more details and whatnot. I, I don't know all the ins and outs of this. Okay. But I'm saying it'd be cool if there was a way to facilitate that sort of programming with the graphics to make it look like more lifelike when like you're doing one of those kill shot replays and you, you can see the shell come out of the gun and whatnot and like all the details in slow motion like it's being shot on a phantom. The phantom yeah. camera is is what was producing those super slow motion shots in the Hurt Locker. Yeah. The little fort they, they showed looks cool. And well, it's like an obstacle course, yes, isn't it? You know what it reminds me of is Splatoon. Of all things. Oh, weird. Okay, yeah, and, but I can see that, yeah. And so what they're doing is, it's like an elevated version of Splatoon. Yeah, instead of like paint, you've yeah. got real bullets. What I would love is if they released this, I mean, maybe on the Switch Pro, whatever, if that actually is a thing. If they released this on the Switch Pro, and I would wait for the price to drop and then buy two copies. And, you know, the games should just come with two copies. Like, well, come on, let's get with the program. You know, you can afford, because the Switches are on the cheaper side, uh -huh. more than one person in the household can have a Switch. They can have, like, like I can have a Switch, and then whoever I'm dating can have a Switch, right? Not yeah. a charm. And so- I have a Switch, though. Oh, she has a Switch. So we she comes play. over, yeah, well, she, okay, anyway. Yeah. So, like, if we both had the game, then we could, each have our own first person window, which is what I love about the Switch, which is what I love about Splatoon. And so we can each like, 
whatever. And so, so Rainbow, with Rainbow Six Siege, I would totally buy this game if we could have local co-op like that. I think that would be awesome. So you could just kick my butt in the game or and feel good about yourself. I don't want to have to be like subject to only playing online. I want local co-op again with my Switch, mm. um, with first-person shooters on the Switch. That's what would get me excited. Is, is being able to play local like that. We have each have our own private window. If you go with the golden eye standard, everyone can see what everyone else is doing. I like having a private window. That's what got me excited about the Wii U, which never like took off properly. Now, like everyone loves the Switch. I feel like the Switch Pro needs to up their game with the graphics, and then we can have something that's like, uh, something mm, sort of competitive with the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X, because you know the Switch Pro is not gonna come anywhere near what Xbox Series X is gonna deliver. I thought this was cool. You guys, um, thanks for hanging out, if you did. And uh, please check out Achara Kirk on the social media. I'm on Instagram if you feel like following my goofy self. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.